Here's Gary in Batley. Hello, Gary. Hi, how the hell are you? I'm speaking to yourself after being at the Leeds match today. Yeah. So, And the Leeds march, not in the Leeds match? The march. Right, so, okay. well, I wish I was at the match as well. Yeah, no. I know, me too. <laughs> Ca carry on, though. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was a really good event. Now, I come from this in... From a slightly unusual perspective, I actually voted Lee for reasons which I probably regret now. But I have since been convinced that leaving would be such a bad thing that, quite frankly, and so much has changed, I would love to see another people have a final, say, another referendum or something like that, just to be absolutely sure people know this is no deal, that's what it looks like, and that is what you face now, you're really sure. Now, given that, and given what will happen on the 31st of October, if we do leave it out with deal, it will be an absolutely major thing which cannot be reversed easily. And therefore, I am very happy to go out and make my voice heard just because it's so important. And I think we have to keep this pressure up. So hold on, so you, you voted leave and you've yes. gone on a Remain march? Yes, because basically, my re I sort of... I was on the edge of leave remain during the referendum. I was very much on the knife edge. Yeah. But how things have panned out, I admit, I guess I voted the wrong way, quite frankly. I admit it now. I, I wish I'd done something different. Why, why, do you, why have you changed your mind? Because, basically, um, the, the sheer difficulty of getting out of the European Union um, and what is on offer if we did get out of the European Union seems to me a very poor... Very poor reward. What did you think I, was going to be the benefit, and what is the reality? I was, I was kind of hoping we'd have negotiated, perhaps a bit differently, where we could have had a better, closer relationship than what a no-deal Brexit would be. Mm. Far more friendly, um, far better on trade terms, and that probably meant single market, etc. Mm. Access. Um, when you voted clear, leave, did you know yeah. of the possibility of a no-deal leave? Yes, I guess I guess it was a possibility. It was there was lots of possibilities because there was nothing actually certain. Neither neither campaign, well, the Leave campaign wasn't explicitly clear about anything like that about what form of Brexit it would be in the end. So uh, it was. And why was do, and why do you feel it strongly enough to go on a march? What difference will a march make? Because it 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 keeps the profile high, and like all these things. You have to make your voice heard if you're unhappy about something for it to change. Um, I think back to, say, for instance, what happened with the suffragettes. I'm sure they knew they were for a very long ride, but it didn't mean they said, oh, we best stay at home and not bother telling anybody why. You know, they didn't do that. They went out and made their voices heard and made people aware of how they felt. And eventually, it was successful. And I think you have to do that. Um, you can't guarantee success because you're talking about challenging... A complex constitution and legal system, political system, and um, no one quite knows how that's going to happen. And, and finally, uh, Gary, you were at the Leeds uh, march. How many mm. people would you say were there? Oh, I was quite near the front at the start of it, and I would estimate who I saw in front of me to me in the stage probably maybe five hundred or so. And then by the time it was sort of well underway, I looked backwards and it was as far as I could see, so probably thousands, but thousands. I don't have an exact All right, no, we'll, it's uh, difficult uh, to tell something in the yeah, middle. I know I know exactly how you feel. Thank you, Gary.